welcome to Liberty Online. And I think you were expecting a video tour of the hub this week, but sadly the sale has been delayed oh, by about two weeks. Two weeks, that sucks. Yeah, but we've got something a little bit different for you today, but next week, we promise on the 9th of May, we will give you the video tour of the hub. That's right, but on the 16th of May, we're gonna finish up what we're doing today, right? Yeah, that's right, so hopefully, on Sunday the 23rd of May, we would have exchanged and completed and got keys so you can book in for your live tour. Yeah, we can show you around. Yeah, we've left, the, going on. we've left the Carnegie room behind, haven't we? And so we're in the garden and uh, so we have nowhere to film. So we thought we'd do it on this lovely sunny day and do it in the garden. Something completely different. What are we going to play today? What are we going to play today? We are going to play questions that you would like to ask your church leaders. Yeah, so I have printed off a gazillion questions. A gazillion? Yeah, from gazillion. Google. And and I've just gone on questions to ask your pastors, questions to ask your church leaders, copied and pasted, copied and pasted. Haven't read them, Steph's not seen any of them. I've nope, seen them by copying and pasting them, so we haven't got a clue what's coming. We are not prepared, we haven't done any responses. This is, is going to be super quick fire then, right? Well, that is the idea, <laughs> but it is me and you, so... It, <laughs> Might not be like that. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to probably take two weeks, so okay. that's why right. I planned in two weeks for it. All right, so, let's do it then. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Right, are you ready? You're gonna pick, you pick. Yeah, I'll Ladies go first. Give a slosh around properly. Oh, this is a good one. How, How would you define, you define ministry, ministry or leadership and, and leadership? And leadership. How would you define oh, ministry? Oh, it's hard work, isn't it? <sighs> no. <laughs> uh, I would define it as, as an honor, but it is a hard, a hard job. It's not for everybody. <laughs> I've gone very logical. Oh. Well, leadership is moving uh, someone other than yourself and maybe a group from one place to another. That's the way I see leadership, yeah. um, whatever that is. And ministry, I think the root word is to serve. So, you know, any... Oh, now mine looks really bad, doesn't it? It's something like dia... Yeah, we're not using this one, this is edited Diakonos or something like that, I don't know, the root of the... I don't know, but it's service. That's all ministry is to me, serving. Great answer. Next question, what do we do with these? Do you get like more points than me or something if it's a better answer? Shut up. What's been the biggest mistake you've made in ministry? I'm going to let you answer that one, Phil. <laughs> oh, that's tough. I'm thinking we should have prepared answers now. <laughs> Mine would be perhaps putting people in positions of authority um, too early. That'd be mine. I think for me, uh, probably talking a little bit harshly to people early on. Before um, you've been in the morning, like before you've had coffee. <laughs> no, but like I do remember like when we first took on the church, being very harsh with people with my words. And she not, still is with me. I, it's not intentional, it's just because I wanted the best for church and ministry and so yeah, it was probably a bit harsh. So I had to apologise a lot, still do, but hopefully not quite as much. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a good one. Would your spouse and kids all want to do ministry again? Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. If I could rewind, we'd, we might do some things differently. Oh, well, yes, I think we would. Yeah. But <laughs> definitely, um, yeah, do it again, no yeah. doubt. And our kids, I think. Are all in. Yeah, they love church. They I'm it? starting to burn out here already. I've been out here three minutes and I'm burning. Right, next one then. Next question. We're smashing through these. Oh, here you go. Are you naturally evangelic? Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't even say the word. Evangelistic. There, there we go. We Let's go. try again. <laughs> Let's read this start again. Ready? No, we're not going to keep that no, in. No, we're not. Are you naturally even? I can't <laughs> say it now. We're definitely keeping it in there. <laughs> I'll read the sunshine. Thank you, yeah, I think you Are you naturally evangelistic? <laughs> Ballistic? That was a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are evangelistic, you naturally evangelistic, yeah. or do you have to force yourself to do it? You are. I think I am. I don't know. You definitely are. Am I? Yeah. I think you are without realising it. I'm not sure I am. Really? No, I think you are naturally. I'm less so. And it's really weird for us to go, come to our church. We run it. It's yeah. awesome. People would. Yeah, Jesus. Yes. How important is physical exercise to you? <laughs> Very. Oh, yeah. You liar. <laughs> if it's getting a biscuit. <laughs> oh, it's very she important. She does a lot of reps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's important to me that I do it. That you do it because if he doesn't do it, he's grumpy. <laughs> yeah, exercise is very important to me. I think, I don't know, I think many people don't value exercise, and not necessarily exercise, but being active physically mm. and how that can actually impact on the soul and therefore the spirit as well. So I think 
I think it is valuable and so I value it. I, I do think it's valuable, but I think for me at the moment, with being a, a mum of four, I do struggle to fit. You're very active anyway. So yeah, I don't like, sit down very it's often. It's exercise, but she ain't gonna go jogging, put it that way. And you no. know why? Because my ears get cold. That's ridiculous, I don't understand it. I've got incredibly little ears if you've never they noticed. They are tiny, mine are massive and stick out. I should get cold ears yeah, from the drag. They're freezing when I, honestly, it, I, it gives me a headache. How do you continue to grow and develop as a leader? That's a good question, I like that. Honestly, for me, it's about being um, accountable with my girls in particular. Mm. And with you, obviously, but, but particularly with my girls. Um, well, I'm a bit more formal, aren't I? Like, Steph will tell you, I even actually have a graph on my wall of, of uh, yeah, leadership development, all the areas of weakness and, and uh, action points to try to improve, which I know sounds really sad and boring, but it's something that I've uh, yeah, chosen to do and continue to do, and will do more so in the future. What is your favorite Bible verse? I know what yours is. What's mine? Yours is about being transformed, renewing your mind. Is that your one? Yeah. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That's my favorite. Out. Um, I don't know what your favorite is. Genesis 1-1? One, one? <laughs> In the beginning? No. I think my favorite actually, probably the fruits of the spirit, so Ephesians 6. So the fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. But not just that part, the best part of it is there isn't a law against these things. I love that. Ooh. What are the most important attributes of successful leaders today? What, on a global scale? That's quite a big question. Yeah. What do you look for in a leader? Uh, someone who is honest and real. Yeah, that's, I think that's mine as well. Yeah, I uh, don't want anyone that's pretending to be someone that they're not. I want, a, I want the real deal. Yeah. What are your current goals? Sleep. <laughs> I'd like to sleep more, no. <laughs> I don't know, you're very quiet. I'm always quiet. Shut up, you're always quiet. I think one of my current goals uh, is to improve my message delivery on Sundays. Um, I know it's been weird over COVID, we're doing it to camera and all that sort of stuff, but where I uh, don't really need notes. And so that's what I'd like to do. I think for me, one of my, my biggest goals at the moment is to manage time and balance family life and work life better because where I suppose for me it's about managing just life how am I going to do that how am I going to do that <laughs> that's definitely one of my goals <laughs> manage life well that is probably a good time to stop for this week but we will finish this off in two weeks time yeah but don't forget next week make sure you watch liberty online because we are doing our video tour of the hub you don't want to miss it we shall see you then